One of our adventures this week was going to visit our friend Holly on her boat, Another Adventure. And we were gonna go spinnaker flying. Now, with spinnaker flying, no, we weren't going sailing. This time, we were flying in the spinnaker. Now let's have Holly explain how it all works. No dousing of the spinnaker till the sun sets, Jason says. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, so it's a symmetrical spinnaker, so it's gotta be even to fly. Um, what you do when you get in it is you douse it. So one corner is down in the wind and the other corner is flapping. Once you get in the seat, you put your feet in the fender and you stay laying back and get in there, hold the top of the triangle, lay back in the water, relax, and start feeding the line out. Your goal is to get the two corners even. Once it's even, you just wait and you'll take off. Um, if you wanna come down, pull one of the lines, you'll you know start going down because you'll be dousing the sail. Just and that's it. Spinnaker 101. Kids, don't try this at home. You're gonna die. Or what do they call it? Spinnaker flying? It's freaking amazing. All of a sudden you're like five feet off and then the next thing is 70 feet up. Well, that's how it felt anyways. This is great. Gotta try it. <laughs> I got a first-hand experience of the dangers of spinnaker flying and a good whipping from it. I'm gonna jump, jump off the bow of the boat, dive in, swim to the spinnaker, grab on, you wrestle with it for a bit, trying to get the wind to catch, and then whoom, all of a sudden you get lifted up, way into the air. The wind got me. Um, when you're up there, you're 100% at the mercy of the wind. If the wind falls, you fall right with it, and that is exactly what happened. Hardest belly back flop of my life. I was lucky that Holly and Travis were close by in a dinghy. They came and picked me up. I was definitely a bit stunned from the experience. They drove me to the back of the boat, where I was able to get a bit of assistance which was mostly just like, I don't want to drift going up and like being dragged yeah, up. And then I passed out. All right, what happened to you here? I had a bit of a, an accident. She went to the top and then she went, went to the bottom. The top. To the top. <laughs> Not all the way to the top. I might need to lay down soon, Jason. Yeah, finger. Let's see this. All bandaged up. Too late. No, this is the better one. <sighs> yeah, straighten your finger. One second, I'm feeling a little. Yeah. Uh -oh. I wasn't passed out for very long, maybe like 20 seconds, and then back to business. So, spinnaker flying, um, super fun, rad, had a great time. Would I do it again based on everything that happened? Yes, absolutely. Thank you again, Holly. Her boat is another adventure and she has a YouTube channel too. I will plug her in right here. It's awesome. She has these super informational videos and you can tell that she puts a lot of love into them and we love you. So, check her out. Here's my lovely diagram of the spinnaker flying. Um, so it kind of gives you a different picture instead of from all the bits, and pe the bits and pieces. So you have the boat, and then you have a line running up the mast that attaches to the spinnaker. Um, the spinnaker catches wind. You got a line running through the clues, and then the kale cord through there. 
there is a block right here and then to the bottom of the block you have the fender attached which is where you sit down there it is all right i'm out